the uh, Bible and New Testament throughout uh, declares that uh, Jesus is God's son, but yet the Islam asserts that Jesus was just merely one of God's prophets. It was not God's son. And they basically, Muslims reject that idea that Jesus is the son of God. Because the Quran repeatedly emphasizes that Jesus Christ was not the real son of God. Here's some, and here's some, here's some. It is not for God to take a son unto him. They say, God hath taken to him a son, saying, Those who forge against God, falsehood shall not prosper. These are verses in the Quran. Praise belongs to God, who hath not taken to him a son. Warn those who say, God hath taken to himself a son. A monstrous word is it, it is, issuing out of their mouths. They say nothing but a lie. But who does greater evil than he who forges against God a lie? They are unbelievers who say God is the Messiah, Mary's son. This is the kind of junk that's taught in the Quran. They teach you that. They deny the basis that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Which is basically Jesus himself taught in the Bible. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed the name of the only begotten Son of God. Say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not, but if I do, Though ye believe me not, but believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. So basically the view of Jesus Christ to the Christians is that Jesus Christ is God's little son. But the Muslims see that as uh, blasphemous. As you see here, this is uh, Surah 5, 73 and 78. They do blaspheme who say God is Christ, the Son of Mary. Christ, the Son of Mary, was no more than an apostle. So basically they believe that he was God incarnate. They don't believe that Jesus was God incarnate either. And any Muslim that believes that Jesus Christ is God has committed the one unforgivable sin called the shirk. A sin that will send him to hell forever. Oh yeah, they don't want you to believe in that. That's the devil's behind that, I'm telling you right now. That's the devil. The devil is behind this religion. He's using it to see multitudes of people to hell. The Quran teaches that he was just a man. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was only the messenger of God. Surah 43.58 says that Jesus was no more than a mortal who, whom Allah for a favor and made an example to the Israelites. But, but even though Jesus himself claimed that he was God on many different occasions, the Quran rejects this and says Jesus denied his own deity. Thus when Allah asked Jesus if he is God, Jesus replied, It is not mine to say whom I have no right to. In fact, even as a baby, Jesus allegedly claimed that he was only a servant of Allah. What? Where does Jesus say that anywhere in the Bible? And he doesn't say that in the Bible anyway. There's no there's no such thing as Allah in the Bible. There was no Allah. You don't start hearing you don't hear about Allah until after the Bible was done, after the Bible had been written. Allah in the in the Quran didn't even show up till about six hundred years after Christ's death. And they won't talk about how that's the right true word of God. According to Surah 19, 20, and 34, Jesus praised his birth and then said, I am the servant of Allah. Further, Muslims do not believe that Jesus was crucified now on the cross. Neither. They believe Allah would never permit this to happen to one of their special prophets, special prophets. Yet, he said that he was going to, he came to be allowed, he came, and yet, Jesus himself said that he came to give his life a ransom for many, and he died and was appropriation for our sins and not for the sins of not for, it, not for our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. 
And it says that Christ committed his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah, the Bible says that. But yeah, they don't believe that. They basically say that somebody died on the cross, but it wasn't Christ. They say that he sub God substituted somebody else in his place. And they are basically they are rejecting the clearest and one of the most uh, important teachings in the Bible. And he, Jesus talked about it several times that he had to die on the cross. Throughout the Bible. You read several times where Jesus is talking to the disciples and he talks about he's got to be betrayed into the hands of men and he's going to be delivered up to the chief priests and the scribes and they're going to beat him and they're going to torture him and then they're going to crucify him and then they're going to and then he's going to be raised again and then he would die and then he'd be buried for three days and then he would raise again you know and rise again and, re and resurrect and he told his disciples that several times in the Bible here's a few of them Matthew 16 21 well here's a no I'll start from here John 12 27 now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say, Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I unto this hour. He's talking about, this is getting, he's talking about here, he's basically talking there about his uh, death on the cross. Luke 18, Luke 18, 31 to 33. Then he, he took unto him the twelve and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked and spiritually entreated and spit on. And they shall scourge him and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. He talked about himself there. Matthew sixteen twenty one. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how he, that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. There's just three mentions of where Jesus was talking about. i got to go die. There's one mention where he was uh, kind of depressed, basically over it. You know, he, you know, he, he, Jesus would come in the flesh, so he had feelings. You know, he had feelings like a human. Because it said the Bible says he was all for sin as we are yet without sin. So he had the same type of feelings, you know, and he was, you know, he didn't want to go through it, really. He was thinking, Lord, I don't want to go through this, but then he said, and it's, you know, it kind of blows the mind in a way. You can think about it. Because he was praying to God, but yet he is God. You know, it's, you can just sit there and say, how can that happen? I don't know. You just got to take the word, take the Bible as, as a word. I don't know how that works. I'm not God. I don't know understand all that stuff. Your mind can't understand it. But there's one where he's kind of troubled by it. Then there's other two times where he tells you, and he tells his disciples, yeah, I'm about to do it. It's going to happen. I'm going to be delivered to, unto the chief priests and scribes, and, and I'm going to be delivered to the government, you know, the Gentiles, and they're going to beat me, and they're going to mock me, and they're going to spit on me, and they're going to laugh at me, and they're going to beat me, and they're going to crucify me, you know, kill me, and I'm going to be buried in three days, and I'm going to rise again. He tells them that several times out of the Bible. And they were also witnesses to his crucifixion and to his resurrection. He appears to the disciples three days after his death. They, he appeared to them and to Mary. Oh yeah, they just somehow uh, that just well, I did, you know that's just uh, weird. You know that's well, that's a coincidence. No, it's not. 